कर सकते रहोगे तो वीडियो सुनते नहीं हमको पूरी ना भी Da sam vidio da od plaća nema ništa i da sam prestao plaka. To da se ne prehvala. It was Kenan's story from landmine littered Bosnia that pulled me in. I knew if I wanted to help Kenan somehow, and children like him, I needed to start a charity. I propelled forward knowing of the Shriners Hospital for Children, who provide orthopedic specialty at no cost. And on a thread and a prayer, I founded the Global Medical Relief Fund. In 2011, thanks to have been featured on the CBS 60 Minutes News Magazine, they followed us for several months. Thanks to donors, Tyler Perry and Miles Nadell, we were able to purchase a home of our own. Doors swung open to which we now call the Dare to Dream House. This is the child and guardian's home away from home for the entire duration of their treatment, which may last four to eight months. On average, we help four to seven children at a time from here at home and other countries. These children eat and play together. Most importantly, they heal and bond as a family. Our commitment to a child may span over two decades, which we then bring back each or every other year as they outgrow their prosthetics or need surgery. Thank you, GMRF. We raise the necessary funds for airfare, visas, and operating expenses for the Data Dream House. Food, utilities, travel to airports, doctor's appointments, and to and from the Shriners in Philadelphia. It's hard to imagine that 20 years ago, this relationship was established between Shriners Hospital for Children in Philadelphia and Elisa Montante and the Global Medical Relief Fund. And we are proud to be part of that mission. The Shriners certainly isn't going to give up on the kids. Elise is not going to give up on the kids. And then together, we'll make a difference, one child at a time, for all that they have done for children around the globe. The number of grateful patients is unbelievably powerful. We've created a wonderful network of people, doctors, teachers, students, soldiers, everyday citizens that just want to give back. We appreciate the Homeland Security Customs and Border Protection personnel who assist us with the arrivals and departures that run with ease. And we hear a lot about American exceptionalism in today's world and this is about the greatest example I've ever seen. And something that she always leaves out is there's no religious or political element to her organization at all. And if these kids aren't the greatest example of America and our character, I don't know what is because these kids go back to those countries and what they tell the people, you can, you can just imagine what would it be like to be in a third world country with a no arm or no leg and to have an organization such as this and the generosity of the American people. Uh, uh, she does more than the State Department, believe me. These kids are not numbers, but part of our growing GMRF family. Some arrive in wheelchairs, some must be carried off the plane, some have lost limbs, some are severely burned, and some are terribly disfigured. They are victims of war, earthquakes, tsunamis, electrocutions, cancers, and deformities. The list goes on. Each child helped by the GMRF becomes an ambassador and returns home not only healed with a mended body and spirit, but hope to realize their future dreams and also experience America at its best. Your contributions are a lifeline to these children. I know. I was one of them. All of these miracles do